Hey guys, Colleen here with the English Law Group. I am an attorney licensed in Kentucky and Indiana, and today I wanna to talk to you about something that is happening nationwide. We've even had it um, attempt to happen this week in our office. So that is fraudulent um, imposters on pieces of property that are vacant or, um, or vacant land. So the way that this will look if you are an agent, you'll get an email most likely, and the person does not wanna meet you, they are out of town, everything has to be handled via email, they don't wanna to talk to you on the phone if um, they're always unavailable. Um, if, you, if your client will not ever have a physical conversation with you on the phone, then there should be some major red flags. Anytime somebody can't meet you in person, there should be some red flags. Um, if they will, um, if they if they can't meet you because they do in fact live out of town, see if they'll do a Zoom call. If you can record them, then that's even extra ammo if uh, there ever is a criminal case against them. Most likely the person will not wanna be on Zoom. They will not wanna um, be on a recording because that um, is is really damning evidence if they're, um, if it if it happens. So in those instances, if you get a uh, an email or whatever, you can always uh, Google the person, see where they live, see if they're on Facebook, see, ask for two forms of photo ID. See if those photo IDs match what's on Google or LinkedIn or any of those things. See if um, on Facebook, if they, you know, where they work, it might be that they're on a company roster online. A lot of times, you know, if you're dealing with someone who's higher up, then they will, they'll, there'll be a little bio of them somewhere. And if you are getting a, um, a call and they want to do a rushed closing, and they don't want to um, ever meet you, they don't want to have a phone call with you, they don't want to do a Zoom call, they send over IDs and the IDs have the same picture for a passport and a photo. The signature on those documents don't match the deed of record because there is a recorded document out there that will have the person's legitimate signature on it, hopefully. And they, um, you know, in those instances, they they won't be using, you know, their their correct information. So you also want to see if the sheriff's website does have them living out of town, and if where they're saying they're living does in fact ma match where the tax bill is going. Again, there are a lot of people that are out of town selling pieces of property, and it's on the up and up and completely fine. Usually, those people will be very grateful that you are going through the extra lengths to ensure their um, safety of their assets. And if there is an issue or a kick, you know, a, a, any hesitation with that, you can always give us a call. We'll help them out, help you out. And um, usually if they, um, you know, are being asked for things and they won't give it to you, there, there's a pretty compelling reason why. So give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, we really do want to stop these things head on and help you guys get to the closing table. So we hope you have a great day.